doing a figure drawing just like we would building our big projects. We gathering information and we building up from layer to layers, from basic to more specific and complex. So for the first step of doing this figure drawing, what we actually care for, the first thing, we need to choose what we are trying to capture, what we're gonna ignore, right? There's a lot of space on the left and the right. So what we're gonna do was first gonna see how's this space look like. This is going to be my space. And you allow yourself to have some time to make changes. Is this is the space that you're gonna use? Are you gonna move to the right, move to the left, Okay, never get any further until you confirm this is the space that you want to use or this is the size that you want to use. And you say, hmm, maybe I'm going to move it a little bit more to this side. I want the elbow come to this direction. I'm just try to make some changes. So, but if this is the space that you want, and then the next thing you're gonna do, this is the first step, the first layer, right? You're gonna ignore some of the space there, so that will be look like this. There is a, a cube on this side, a support uh, item, like that. So we're gonna see how the whole things flow together. You need to making sure that is the composition that you're comfortable with, step one. And after you have that done and then you're going to see I am going to divide the big shape into a little bit more specific and the first thing I show you this is nothing specific everything kind of rough and general right now I based on the the thing I did in the previous step I get it down to a little bit more specific information. But thinking about if the first step, you did not get it right, and then you jump to the next step, you know, this is why you kind of, oh, I don't have space for the leg, I don't have space for the head. Yeah, making sure that it's everything in the right place. Now you get down over here, you want to double check. Is this that correct? Now you can do a little measurement. Say over here, from here, to here, um, there is this one direction from here to here. And I think over here would be half of it. But I, more important, I want to compare this with this side. I think this is about, uh, if I going down this direction, making that the direction is correct. I think over here to here, it goes to from here to here. So I'm going to make this a little shorter. You can do a little more uh, measurements, spend a little more time. And then from this side to here, and it's the same as from here to here. Now you have more uh, shapes, a little bit more different line, so that you, and also you look at, looks like this lick is coming from, coming to it this side, but when you're staring at it, it's just more like a straight. Uh, it's a vertical line. It's not, but however, you knowing the legs are turning this side. When you get to that step, and then you pay attention to what you should take care of at that step, right? After you uh, done dividing this, and then the, what's the next step would be? The next step, it would be divided into the shape. Now you can see that I divide this in the shadow and the light. And over here, I need to refine that there's a curved line over here and coming on this side. And then, and then I'm gonna add the little shape for this. Now this shape is still put it rough, but you know, I want to show you that you have to add the shape of the shadow side. Now I'm going to come here to fine tune that this 
corner has and has a shape over here coming down. You divide this is still the big shape, okay, at this step. But after you divide this the shape over here, you actually make things look more three-dimensional. I'm gonna divide here, have another shape on this side. And I can see the little shape over here. I draw the area and fill in the value and have a shape over here and have the shape, a little darker shape at the bottom of this foot and have divide this into actually there's one side a little darker, that's another shape. And as soon as you get to this step, you are get a little bit more specific information now and seeing how the thing's turning. But again, you want to double check on the width of this side and compare to the light side when you get to this step. But before this step, you already know the whole thing, the width over here compared to the height over here. And those information you already took care of in the previous step. And then after that, and you're going to go to the next step. Okay, now I have to making sure the background actually is supporting the figure. Now I'm going to make the background a little bit darker and also down here a little bit darker because the light is actually up here. And now you go to the next step would be I can actually divide this, have another middle tone shape over there and I have a little middle tone over here and so on. And you're going again and later and later and you're going to develop more specific. Now you can see why it's so important that we start from the composition, the basics. And we make sure that we do a solid work on each layer when we're working on that information. And our mind will telling us what kind of information that we need on each step.